Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome to a new section of the course where we will be covering the NGRX Entity Package. In order to start this new section of the course, let's go ahead to the GitHub repository of our course and select the branch for this section. We are going to be choosing the 2-Entity branch, which contains the code that we will need in the beginning of this section. As usual, you can get the code either by downloading it here as a zip file or you can clone it into your working environment. If you prefer to clone this branch, then this is the command that you will need, git checkout minus b the name of your local branch and then the remote branch that we want to link to. So now that we have here this new version of the code for the beginning of this section, let's go ahead and make sure that we have our server up and running. We are going to restart it by running the command npm run server. Let's also start here our front-end development server again. If you run npm start, we are going to run our application in development mode. Once we have our server up and running, let's go ahead and reload our application and make sure that everything is working correctly. So in this first part of this new section, we are going to be going over here the view course page. This page is currently implemented using plain Angular services, so we are calling the backend again each time that we show a given course. We are going to refactor this component in order to use the centralized store solution and we are going to be storing the collection of courses using NGRX Entity. Let's remember that this page is part here of the courses module, so we can see it here configured at the level of the routing configuration of the courses module. You can see here that this corresponds to the course component that is getting displayed here on the center of the screen and we are serving the data of the course to this component via the router. So as you can see, course is being retrieved from the router. How is the router populating the data for the course that includes, for example, the title and the link to the image thumbnail? This data, as we can see here on the routing configuration, is coming from the course resolver. This is a standard Angular router resolver that is taking the course identifier from the URL and then it's using it to retrieve a course from our backend using the courses service. From a functional point of view, this implementation is working correctly, but there are a couple of problems here. For example, every time that we go back here to the courses page, we are fetching the course again. So this title and this thumbnail is the same one used on the course page. So we are continuously fetching the same data from the backend. Now, whenever we go back here to the view course page, we are again going to go through this course resolver and we are again going through the backend to fetch the course title and thumbnail. This means that there are a lot of repeated calls to the backend. As we navigate through the application, the same data is being loaded again and again as the user navigates from one screen to the other. This gives a bad user experience because the user is constantly seeing loading indicators on the screen and also these constant HTTP requests put a lot of load on the server unnecessarily. There's a better solution, we are going to refactor this resolver in order to use the store instead. Instead of fetching the data again and again from the server, we are going to instead fetch it only once, store it in the store and the next time that we need the data, we are simply going to retrieve it from the in-memory store, avoiding having to call again the server. Notice one thing concerning here the course entity. What we have here is not only a single course, like it's the case of the user authentication data, what we have here is a collection of courses. The best way to store a collection of data in the centralized store is to use the NGRX entity package that you already have installed at this point in the course. Let's then start implementing the courses page using NGRX entity. We are going to learn about the benefits of this package and we are going to see the advantages of adopting a store solution in our application. 